And it all started with Mr. Wolf and him falling and passing away as a result of that fall. And that bothered me. And so with that, you know, with that fall also, it makes you wonder about wearable technology and how that works with falls and detecting falls. There are two types of wearable technology. And as our our technology gets better and better, you're going to see that field grow, like going from being able to detect falls to being able to wear an Apple Watch and detect blood sugar levels, right? And that's very important, especially if you're a type 1 diabetic, where those numbers can fluctuate, uh, you know, in a day's time. But as far as fall detection goes, there's two types of fall detection, right? You see these guys that wear these devices that have a button, that's right around their neck, or sometimes they wear it like a watch. Um, your Apple Watch or your Samsung Watch or your smart watch can operate in the same way. How many of you know Dick Tracy, right? Well, we're in Dick Tracy times right now. You have Bluetooth technology. This is the first uh, bit of technology I'm going to talk to you about. Bluetooth technology operates as long as it can connect to a home device. So let's say you're wearing a wearable fall detection device or an emergency button around your neck or on your wrist. As long as that device can connect to a home device, you're in business. You're going to be able to communicate if you fall. You'll be able to push the button and that device will be able to connect and you'll be able to get help on the way. Now, as soon as you get out of range, let's say you go to the mailbox and you have a fall, you hit that button. If you're out of range, you're also out of luck. Now, let me tell you about the second type of technology. That is your cellular technology. My Apple Watch operates the same way my phone operates. I can leave my phone at home and still receive phone calls and text messages through my watch. That is vital, that is key. If you're active as a senior, right, and you've maybe had or experienced a fall in the past, I would definitely consider you uh, to be part of the criterion as getting some kind of device like this, right, if you've already experienced a fall, because with the cellular technology, you can go anywhere and it works like your cell phone. So let's say you go to your mailbox, you fall, you can take your Apple Watch, call for help, right? Maybe you can't get up, maybe you're hurt, you, you know, you're in a situation where you just can't get back to the house. That cellular watch, that cellular device will be able to connect, whereas that Bluetooth device may not, right? Does that make sense to you guys? We'll leave it right there. I don't want to get into it too much. Those sources and, and references, guys, are available on my website. Go to sources and references. You can print that page out. Uh, under wearable technology, all right? That's the heading you're looking for. So I was looking for numbers and metrics on how many lives this wearable technology has saved. And, and I can tell you what I found was that the number of falls that seniors are experiencing are increasing, yeah. right? We're up to about 35% of people over the age of 65 will experience a fall, an unintended fall, right? And that is the, the number one reason for death in, in unintended accidents, right? That's, that's your number one reason. So we want to avoid that. We want to keep you guys active, independent, and mobile for the rest of your life, all right? Yes, sir. I do. I do. So the question is, is, are, is there any technology out there that can help prevent a fall, right? And so as of right now, as of today, I'm not aware of any technology that can prevent a fall in terms of feeling you, your body passing a threshold. And before you pass that threshold, some sort of device corrects that and keeps you from falling. I have seen, however, uh, devices that act as an airbag, essentially. So this or technology was originally developed for motorcycle crashes, right? And so what it does is you wear it like a life vest, like a jacket, and, and you have a helmet as part of this, right? I've seen them with helmets and without helmets, mostly with. And as someone is going to fall, before they impact the ground, poof, 
You know those little big puffy jackets, guys, that looks like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man in Ghostbusters? That's what it looks like, but it looks like the light version. But when you go to fall, before you hit the ground, poof, that thing blows open like an airbag and wraps you in like a little cocoon, and it provides a little bit of a cushion there before you hit the ground. I have seen that. So I think that is still in operation. You may be able to get that. I don't know what the cost is on something like that. Yeah, I think I would think a few thousand dollars, but uh, that's what I've seen so far. So if you guys come across anything, please send it to me, okay? It's impossible for me to comb everything. I'm on the internet all the time looking at research articles and things, but I can't get everything. So if you find something, don't hesitate, all right? Even if you think, oh, he already knows this, I, I may not, all right? So, all right, let's rock and roll.